Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, so one of the things I noticed was being taught quite a bit across the school today was a lot of stuff on vowels and vowel sounds. And I just decided to create a video for you as an extra resource, as will be normal, a normal part of our culture. Um, and again, adopt it if you want to, and if not, that's okay too. Um, but even as far as fifth grade, I used it for third through fifth. Um, I often would not use it as a whole class lesson. Um, I, with third grade I did, um, but I would pull small groups um, and do this mini lesson because some kids needed it, some didn't, but do with what you're comfortable with. Um, so for some phonemic awareness, I uh, study the work of Katie Garner, G-A-R-N-E-R, -E Katie Garner. And Katie's work is focused on brain research and what the brain responds to and early childhood development, uh, specifically um, work with phonemes and things like that. So um, one of the things that Katie teaches with um, teaching vowels is that kids often resist learning them as rules, like A says A and A, ah, that's a rule. Um, but rather teaching them as stories. And the reason is because oftentimes we're socialized to believe that rules, we have options with them, right? We can follow them or we can break them. Whereas storytelling doesn't present that predicament. It's a story is a story. You don't need to break it. So um, these particular stories she came up with, and they are um, called the superhero set. So when I would do these, I would, I quite literally had a cape that I bought and um, I would change the letters, um, excuse me, the vowels on the back. And I would start with saying that every vowel is a superhero, right? Um, sometimes they say their name. When they have their cape on, they say their name. I'm A, I'm E, I'm I, I'm O, I'm U. So sometimes they just say their name, right? that symbol A, and they say that symbol name. But even a superhero, kind of like um, Spider-Man, he's not always Spider-Man. Sometimes, you know, he's Peter Parker. He's just a normal guy. Sometimes Superman is just Clark Kent. He's just a normal guy. So then I would take off my cape and I would tell them that each of these vowel superheroes um, also have some things that they do when they're just off work, but they're not doing their superhero thing. So when A takes off his cape, he likes to go under the apple tree and eat ah, ah, apples, ah, ah, apples. And I like to use total physical response with this too. So the kids are, um, doing these motions with you. And also again, the storytelling element E. He's sort of weird. We don't really get E, but he takes off his cape and he likes to dress up like a grandma, kind of like me today. He likes to put his um, bun, put a bun in his hair, a little, like a little wig, put on big glasses and um, a moo moo dress. And he likes juicy gossip. And he figured, oh, if I'm a grandma, nobody's going to be listening, right? So then he goes up to conversations and goes, eh? Eh? So that's E. Then we have a E, I. I, again, isn't always a superhero. So sometimes he takes off his cape. And I is the muscle. So whenever he's not working, doing his superhero thing, he likes to go to the gym where he says, and again, I like to show them that I do this so they keep the sound correct. They don't reform their mouth. Eh, eh, eh. And I, I tell my kids, I almost think of it like you're holding a weight. Eh, eh, eh. And if they need help again with that mouth shape, they're making a sideways I do. A E I O. So when O is not saying his name and doing the superhero thing, he's not saying I'm O, he's taking a break. Because sometimes superheroes wear a cape, but sometimes they take a break. So, oh, he gets worn out. 
from all the superhero th thing that he does. He's like, oh, I'm exhausted. All these people I've had to save. I, I gotta take care of myself sometimes. And oftentimes he just doesn't know his own boundaries. So he has to go to the doctor because he wears himself out, he gets sick. And at the doctor, they go, ah, 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 ah. And I actually make them, you know, do it in their mouth. So they are making sure they're using that, um, first of all, the TBR and their mouth is making the correct shape for that ah, ah, ah sound. A, E, I, O, U. So when U is not saying I'm you with his superhero cape, um, he takes it off. And he's the youngest of the superheroes, so he still has to go to school. And sometimes he sits in class and goes, Ah, uh, ah, uh, this problem's really hard. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now, one thing um, that the kids would say is, Miss Horn, how do I remember which is which? So I would say, think about this. If the superhero is wearing their long cape, they're doing their superhero thing, they're wearing their long cape, then they're gonna make the long vowel sound. So if I have my cape, I say my name. If they're not wearing their cape, then they're taking a break and they're short. And I even make them get small. Again, it's a resource for you. Um, if you want to use it, do. If you don't, that's okay. Enjoy.